The Ulan Center for Contemporary Art, or UCCA as we call it, is a nonprofit independent art museum located here at the center of Beijing, 798 Art District. It was founded in 2007 by the Belgian collectors Guy and Miriam Ullens. And this is the opening of our exhibition On Off, Chinese Young Artists and Concept and Practice. This is an exhibition that is looking to present a collective portrait of a generation. Uh, this is the generation that was born after the death of Mao in 1976, kind of alongside the beginning of opening and reform, which starts in the late 70s, early 80s, and that's really come of age and entered the art world since 2000. Um, the title On Off actually comes from the interface of a VPN, a virtual private network uh, software, which is what a lot of us who are based here in China use to get over the internet firewall. And this idea of being on or off, being um, toggling constantly between systems and subjectivities is something that the curators felt was key to understanding this generation. This piece by Huang Ren takes the uh, electric logic of the electrified fly swatters you often see in China and blows it up to another level entirely so what you have is very high voltage but low amperage. Um, and you have bubbles coming out here which will explode up on contact with this electric grid. Baodong and Sun Dongdong, who are two lovely um, independent Chinese curators, went about looking for artists who A, fit these broad criteria of being part of this generation, but more importantly were in their practice kind of responding to this big situation of this country. Uh, this is a really lovely piece by an artist called Li Liao. And what he's done is, he's, all of his projects are quite socially engaged, and for this piece he actually got a job at Foxconn, the very famous manufacturer of electronic products, and particularly of Apple projects. And he worked there until he had enough money to buy an iPad mini, upon, uh, which he resigned. So he shows here his experience uh, of a few months in the life of a Foxconn worker on the iPad mini that he bought with his wages. This generation of Chinese artists is so different from the ones that have preceded it in that they are not interested in singular symbols of one reality. Um, so you see a huge variety of positions inside the generation, among the generation. Um, you also see them being interested in, in things like the media that they're working in themselves. And just to give one example, there's an artist, Wang Yuyang, who's done this incredible piece where he um, documents the production of the paper that he's in the end printed the photographs of this production process back upon. Um, or even the painting right behind me by Wang Guangle is hundreds of layers of pigment going in order from fully red to fully green and actually playing with the, uh, with the pigment in order to achieve this effect with each layer getting slightly smaller. And this work by Wang Sichuan is really a reflection on the art system itself. So what happened at the beginning was he took a set amount of money, converted it into one RMB coins, melted them down and made a cube. Uh, and then he sells the work and sells the work for a certain amount of money, takes all of that money, turns it into coins, makes another cube of it and continues to do this. So this is the fourth or fifth iteration and each time as you can imagine, as the uh, art system takes its course, the cube becomes slightly bigger. 798 may have changed and uh, may have become more commercial, but the flip side of that is that it attracts an ever bigger public. It's a district which now attracts over 3 million tourists a year, so we see over 700,000 of them uh, in our building each year. Uh, we are committed to remaining here and eager to do so in a way that makes sense for, for all of us, and we're, we're very confident about the value we've added to this area and um, hopeful that our future agreements will reflect that. Thank you.